In this lesson, Tessellations Using Transformations, we'll talk about the three different types of transformations and how each one can be used to form its own unique brand of tessellations. Transformations are any movements to an object or shape. There are three main types of transformations. The first is called a translation, where an object or shape is slid to the left or right, up or down. Another type of transformation is called a reflection, where the shape is simply flipped over a line of symmetry. A final type of transformation is called a rotation, which turns the shape counterclockwise or clockwise around a point. First, we'll show you how translations can be used to create a tessellation. We'll start with a square and we'll cut a little piece out of this square. Translate this piece to the right. Now we have our object. We will fit other objects of the same type to it and come up with our own brand of tessellation. Here's a tessellation created by using a translation. Next, we'll use a reflection to create a tessellation. We'll start with this L shape. We will flip it over this vertical axis. And our new object would look like this. We can take this object and reflect it over a horizontal axis. And we can carry this on. We can draw an axis, flip the shape over that axis, and continue this process until we've come up with our tessellation. Finally, we'll use a rotation to create a tessellation. We'll start with our same square object with the little piece cut out. This time, instead of sliding the piece to the right, we will rotate the piece 90 degrees clockwise, creating this shape. And now we'll take other similar shapes and piece them together to form our tessellation. So this tessellation is created by using rotations. In the following tessellation, see if you can identify the various types of transformations that occur. You can find translations, reflections, and rotations.